Report to Report. When every second counts, count on Vital Care MedTrans. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. So when you call 911, ask for the best. Wait a minute, are you Vital Care? Yes, we are. Oh, good. State of the art equipment and a well trained staff who stand ready to respond to your call. That's Vital Care MedTrans, when nothing but the best will do. The doctor said it's you. Said something's happened to you. She said, I just wanted you to tell me that, doctor. I wanted you to tell me something. I already knew it. Going to be an old fashioned camp meeting at Cavalry Worship Center behind Murphy's Gas on Jacksboro Pike. Starting November the 6th, 7th, and 8th at 7 p.m. each night. It will be conducted by Brother Landon Sexton of Kentucky, and everyone is invited to attend. Let's get in this count meeting. 6th, 7th, and 8th of November, right here in La Follette, Tennessee. That's camp meeting at Calvary Worship Center behind Murphy's Gas on Jacksboro Pike. Valley View was at Oak Valley, Jellicoe was at Wynn, Christian Academy was at White Oak, but we found ourselves at La Follette Elementary School. As the undefeated Cardinals boys team came into Owl Nation to take on the undefeated Owls team, but first the Lady Cardinals had to take care of some business of their own, as they too are undefeated and did take care of business defeating the Lady Owls. The game was never in doubt. The score was ugly. So ugly, we'll just say the Lady Cardinals left La Follette still undefeated at 6-0, leading the Lady Owls was Pemberton with four, Steiner had two, for the Lady Cardinals, they were led by Barry with 17, Savage had 12, Ponce added 6, and Slower had 4. For as bad as the Lady Cardinals beat the Lady Owls, the Owls almost did the same thing to the also undefeated Cardinals by winning 46-20. The Owls and Spencer both years hit the floor running and never let the Cardinals breathe. They pressured, and it took the Cardinals off guard. By the end of the first half, it was the fall at 28-11. At the end of the third, it was 40 to 15 Owls, and then your final came. Now the Owls are 7 and 0, while the Cardinals fall to 5 and 1. Leading the charge for the Cardinals was Bates, Dopp, and Osborne with six each. Phillips added three. Shanks and Atkins had two each, and Harder only had one. Way below what they averaged. Now leading the Owls was Bosiers with 14. Brady had 12. White had 11. Medley had six and Condry added four for a balanced scoring attack. Now these two will meet again next week when it will be the rematch, only this time it will be at Carroll. We sat down and talked with Justin Price, head football coach at Campbell County High School, about his second year in the playoffs and what he's learned from last year and what he will take into this Friday's game. Now coach, now last year was your first year with the Cougars in the playoffs. Now, what have you learned from last year to this year that you're going to take into this year's playoff? Well, I think you just got to, you know, it's important that your kids understand what they're playing for. Right. Uh, you know, and, and at this point of the year, you know, if, if you don't play your best and you have regrets Saturday morning when you wake up, and we want to make sure kids, back. right, you, you don't get any redos or no. get to go watch film on Monday and fix what you did, you know. So it's, uh, it's something our kids, I think they understand it more. And at the same time, we don't let the, the uh, atmosphere get to us. You right. know, last year we played very well against Gibbs in the first round of playoffs. Second round against Knox West, not so good. Uh, but, you know, I think our kids now are... You may have are, lost focus yeah. and I think between we, that week. Exactly. And we've matured so much as a program. Right. You know, it, it's now it's our second time around doing this. And, uh, you know, I think our kids will be ready. Uh, we got to be. We got to play great football to, to get to uh, advance, you know, it's right. kind of about surviving and advancing right now. Because all teams are good. Exactly. Whatever it takes to win, we'll do whatever it takes at this point. And, uh, you know, let's run, throw, and whatever we need to do on trick plays. So we can't hold anything back. we got to empty our buckets and, right. uh, you know, leave it all out on the field and, and play for these seniors who deserve uh, deserve a lot of what we've been able to do. They deserve a chance, and, you know, your coaching staff going to have to give them that chance. Yeah, no doubt, and everybody involved. And, and I feel com confident about the week of preparation we had. It was one of the best weeks we've had in practice. And, and in the end, that's what you miss the most when these things come to an end is, is the practices and watching those guys come together and continue yeah. to grow. And, and this has been a special group to coach, and we, we are definitely having a great time doing it. A little bit about the Trojans of Morristown West who will come into Friday's contest with a 7-3 record. Losers of two games in their district, South Doyle and Sevier County. Same for our Cougars who lost to AC and Oak Ridge. Two teams above us 
So two evenly matched teams with matching schedules. They are 4-1 on the road and we are 5-0 and at home. Now they have beat teams below them and the same holds true for our Cougars. Guys to watch on their team are number six. Their all-everything back is Preston Long, a defensive back who returns both punts and kickoffs, and he'll be one to keep the reins tight on. They run mostly with good off with a good offensive line. They do give up a lot of passing yards, but they like to strip the ball once you make the catch. So we gotta hold on to the football. It all starts Friday night, and kickoff is set for 7 p.m. So get there early. Have you been down to K-Trace across from Jacksboro Middle School yet? They're open Monday through Friday from 7 to 5 p.m. and Saturday from 9 to 5 p.m. They not only have a large selection of hot fresh donuts, but also ice cream. They also serve lunch as well, made fresh sandwiches, hot dogs, nachos, and soup of the day. You can call them at 423-201-9431. That's K-Treats across from Jacksboro Middle School. Get on down there. Other district teams in action Friday night Gibbs will be at South Doyle's. Now, this should be a win for South Doyle unless they try to mail this one in. But they have the talent to win this game. Now, the winner of Morristown West Cougars game will travel to play South Doyle next Friday should they win. Tennessee High will be at Anderson County. Again, shouldn't be any problems for the Mavericks. But then again, anything can happen in the playoffs. But we're not expecting any surprises here. The quarterback should be back for Anderson County, and so they should be all intact. Now, the winner of this game goes on to play the winner of Knox Central, Knox West game. Now, if Knox West wins Anderson County, if they win, they have to go to Knox West. Either way, the winner of the Anderson County Tennessee High game has to go to Knox West, unless Central wins. Confusing, isn't it? Knox Central at Knox West. Wow, this should be a good ball game, though, if Central brings their A game. If they don't, they'll lose, and the Rebels of West will wait on the winner of the AC Tennessee High game. Saudi Daisy at Oak Ridge. This should be no game at all, and no trouble for the Wildcats of Oak Ridge. They are at home, and the Trojans of Saudi Daisy are a dismal 4-6 and six overall, and 1-5 and five in a division with only Udawa as really a playoff team. Saudi Daisy finished dead last in their district, so Oak Ridge should move on to play the winner of the Cleveland-Clinton game at Oak Ridge. And of course, uh, Clinton will travel to Cleveland to play Cleveland, and there again, if Clinton wins, they have to go to Oak Ridge, just like a district game. Our district teams are stronger than most district teams, though, as a whole, and should do very well, but then again, anything can happen in the playoffs, right? Lily loves the diner on Jack's World Park, and it's no wonder with all the goodies they have down there. Not to mention the great home cooking. Not surprising, they're voted Campbell County's best again for 2014. Open Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thursday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Also open Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now serving breakfast on Saturdays, 8 to 11 a.m. And it's all you can eat specials Thursday through Saturday. Welcome to the diner where you'll find all your favorite foods. Come by and see Amanda or Linda at the diner on Jacksboro Pike, 423-566-4708. Campbell County Middle School Fishing Team will be fishing Saturday. That's this Saturday at the Wells Springs Ramp at the Graveyard on Middle School Teams. The fall at Jacksboro and Jellico. They need to be there at 6.45 a.m. Saturday morning and get up there and sign in. And I'm going to get up there and get a full report for you. November the 14th and 15th, the Campbell County Youth Basketball League starts up already. Friday the 14th, they will start at 5 p.m. Saturday, they will start at 9 a.m. at both East and West LaFolle. And we'll get the schedules from Chris Smith later on for you. But we'll get over there and get a story for you. Christian Academy will have their second annual Warrior Run 5K. It'll take place November the 15th. Start time is 9 a.m. Check-in will be at 7 a.m. at Christian Academy. They have six different divisions from 14 and under. And then you can go on up. Registration fee is $25. Either before or during the race, whatever, it's $25. You can call Jennifer Caldwell at 423-566-5295 for more information. Also going to be that Santa Trot 5K in December the 6th. The fee is $20, but the day of the race will cost you $25. So save 5 bucks and sign up now. Contact Race Director Johnny Hickman at 423-566-0773. Camel County Youth Soccer Tournament will start up this Saturday at 10 a.m. at Ken Snarley Park. Always competitive, so we'll get up there this Saturday. 
at 10 a.m. We'll be up there. So come on up and say hello and check out these kids as they play soccer. And as you know, these kids, they'll move on from this level and then they'll go into the middle school level and then they'll go on up to play for the Cougars or the Lady Cougars. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, that's all the sports I've got for you today. You guys have a great weekend. You guys stay tuned. There's a whole lot more to come right here on WLAF.